this lecture uh, we will be discussing about the uh, clinical uses and side effects of opioid analgesics clinical uses side effects of opioids Okay. First, we will cover the clinical use, then we will be discussing the side effects. So, first clinical use of opioid analgesic is moderate to severe pain. And the name of those pens are Tensor Pen, Pain associated with the myocardial infarction. Myocardial infarction. Neuropathic pain. Neuro. Neuropathic So uh, first we will be having a brief mechanism of the cancer pain. Listen. In case of uh, uh, cancer pain, suppose this is cancer cell. Suppose this is cancer cells. As we know, the cancer cells are very mad in nature because you know they don't know or the genomic map is uncontrolled. Because genomic material is not So these cancer cells or these cancer cells cancerous cells produce a lot of chemical mediators. For example, bradykinin, for example, bradykinin DK. The other one is Endothelin, endothelin, it is written as ET, endothelin. The next chemical mediator is nuclear, nuclear factor, kappa B. It is a chemical mediator which is released from cancer cell when they gone mad. Okay, the other compound is
ribtase enzyme ribtase enzyme so these are the different chemical mediators those are released from cancer cells so uh, these chemical mediators like bradykinin endothelin nuclear factor kappa and ribtase they activate uh, their respective receptors on the nociceptive neurons the neurons containing the nociceptors suppose this was the neuron containing the nociceptors okay so all these uh, chemical mediators will activate on their receptors or activate their receptor so in this way the pain is transmitted through neurons containing nociceptors this was about the cancer pain now come to us myocardial infarction pain myocardial infarction what basically happens in the myocardial infarction in myocardial infarction the oxygen supply towards the heart decreases in case of myocardial infarction go to supply becomes blunted so so to overcome the atp demand of the cell the cardiac myocytes the cardiac myocytes to meet the demand to meet that demand atp demand. the cell starts the anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration in the result of this anaerobic respiration as we all know that as we all know that lactic acid is the end product of the anaerobic respiration lactic acid so this lactic acid is start generating the hydrogen ions hydrogen ions So, so the neurons innervated to heart they sense the decrease in the ph of the cardiac myocytes listen again in the myocardial infarction the oxygen supply becomes compromised the oxygen supply becomes compromised when the oxygen supply becomes com compromised the atp production becomes lower so to overcome the atp demand our cellular machinery or our cells start anaerobic respiration 
so in result of anaerobic respiration lactic acid is generated and lactic acid produces hydrogen ions and these hydrogen ions then activate proton and receptor on the membrane so the ligand gated ion channels proton those are ligand gated ion channels you respond to the you respond to the increase in the hydrogen ion which is formed by the lactic acid so in this way action potential is generated action potential is generated and that leads to the myocardial infarction then okay now come towards the pain associated with neurons neuropathic pains mean means uh, pain associated with nervous system nervous system nervous system and especially peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system so when uh, any neuron neuron gets damaged neuron damage so different chemical mediators are released chemical mediators release those chemical mediators increases the potential of that neuron it leads to pain so this is the one mechanism the second mechanism is that uh sometimes our nerves gets uh pressed because of some pressure so when the neuron gets pressed the pressure receptor of that neuron becomes active that leads to the nerve impulse trans uh, transmission that ultimately causes the neuropathy pain so this is the cellular mechanism that how neuropathic pain uh, myocardial infarction pain and cancer can happen and these opioid analgesics uh, by inhibiting the cns uh transmission of the pain transmission inhibits and in this way we get relief from the pain associated with the uh, cancer myocardial infarction and neuropathy uh, now come to the second uh, clinical use of opioid analgesic that is anti depressants and it doesn't means uh, they are used to treat cough cough and uh, what is the mechanism uh, anti depressant as we know opioid analgesics uh are associated with the suppression of cough symptom opioid opioid analgesic depress
Prof. Sandra. And in this way, uh, they are used in the cuff preparations. They are used in the cuff preparation. Uh, the cellular mechanism we already have discussed in the previous lectures. Third clinical use of opioid analgesic is pre-anesthetic, pre-anesthetic medication. Anesthetic medication. Means when uh, uh, is performed, when anesthesia is performed, uh, we use opioid analgesics before the start of the surgery. Okay. So this is the third clinical use. Fourth. Anti diarrheal. Anti as we know, opioid analgesics decrease decrease GIT mobility because uh, we know that opioid receptors are present on the GIT walls or the neurons. Uh, which are innovated to GID, like parasympathetic neurons associated with the release of acetylcholine. So when the acetylcholine level becomes low, the GID modality decreases in this way, opioid analgesic treats barrier. And the drugs like luparamide and difoxylate are used as anti diarrheal So these are the four, four clinical use, uses of the opioid analgesic. Now come towards the side effects. Side effects. The first side effect of the opioid analgesic is Drowsiness, drowsiness, as we know, opioid, and, uh, opioid analgesics activate their opioid receptors which are abundantly present in the CNS and they are inhibitory in nature. So that's why majority of the brain parts gets depressed. In this way, we feel drowsiness. Second side effect is pin point to pin. Basically, all these side effects are associated with the pharmacological effects of opioid analysis that we have studied in the previous lectures. So, this pin point pupil may cause problem with the VN. Because for the nervian, we require uh, parasympathetic system, and for the forvian, we require sympathetic system. So, in the opioid use, the parasympathetic system becomes dominant. So, in this way, the accommodation of the eye may disturb disturbance in the VM. Disturbance. We. Next side effect is on the cardiovascular system. That is, that is hypotension. Hypotension. And the mechanism of hypotension is 
increased level of carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is vasodilator in nature as we people know that vasodilator and in this way the blood pressure becomes low due to it next is respiratory depression respiratory depression opioid receptors are present in the respiratory center of the medulla so when opioids are used the uh, opioid receptor becomes activated in the respiratory center and uh, they compromise the neuronal flow of respiratory center towards respiratory organ so in this way respiratory system becomes disturbed a respiratory depression next is constipation constipation by constipation because uh, opioid analgesics opioid analgesics uh, have ability to decrease the GIT mortality when the GIT mortality will be decreased all the sufficiency of the GIT will be decreased then uh, it is associated with the constipation and it is very uh the known and prominent side effect of opioid analgesic because of decreased git wall motility in the cellular basis we have already discussed that how uh, git mortality decreases okay. next is urinary retention urinary retention as we people know that opioid analgesics causes the relaxation of the bladder door and contraction of bladder sphincter and contraction of the bladder sphincter in this way urinary retention happens increase relaxation of bladder muscles muscle plus increase contraction of contraction of sphincter or bladder so in this way urinary uh, retention happens the last side effect of opioid analgesic is itching itching and this itching is because of uh, histamine release histamine release from so these are the clinical uses and side effects of the opioid analgesic i hope uh, you people enjoy the lecture please do me a favor like subscribe and share